Yeah, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, I want to talk about something real quick. Nothing too crazy. Uh, we gonna we gonna talk about this real quick and and, and get out of here. All right. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my store slicks. Uh, October twenty second. Uh, we doing. I'm doing my first uh, sip and shop brunch. It's gonna be dope. I want everybody to pull up. Let me fix this. There we go. I want everybody to pull up if you could. Um, man, get this right. We good? There we go. I want everybody to pull up if you could. Um, it's gonna be a dope event. Uh, if you in New York, New Jersey area, pull up and um, come have some fun. That's what it's about, man. I appreciate y'all for helping me build my brand and and getting it to where it's at now. And I want to go even further with it. So I, I really appreciate y'all. And I want to say that. All right, so. The first thing I want to talk about is accountability, right? That's some music playing. I hope y'all can't hear this music in the background. But first thing I want to talk about is accountability, right? And this is something I had to learn. All right, right now I just I just made forty years old. This is just where I met. I just turned forty years old, and where I come from, I know a lot of dudes that ain't make it to forty. So I'm happy just to turn forty years old. That's that's real. That's why I'm not scared to say my age. And I don't know why people do that. Me, I don't do that, right? Because you should be happy to get to where you at. You know, what I'm especially with living. And I had to learn accountability. Uh, like I remember getting into like a, a back and forth with one of my friends and he said to me yo goods you be talking down to me and i said no i don't like what are you talking about da, da, da. he said yes you do you probably just don't notice you're doing it but you do it and when he said that i kind of stopped and thought and i said damn i didn't heard like four other people say that to me before before this right and from that time right there, and this is this is this is so long ago I'm talking about, but from that time right there, I took accountability to say, you know what, it gotta be me if five people done said it to me already. It has to be me. Even if it's something I see I'm not doing, it has to be me. You know what I'm saying? And I think taking accountability for your actions is something very hard for people to do because it's so easy to point the finger at everybody else, right? It's it, it's so easy to do that. Um, the only way you could get better as a person or grow, period, is if you hold yourself accountable for decisions and mistakes and 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 thing and other things you may have made coming up or even if it was last week or whenever it was everybody can't be wrong if you're the one common denominator everybody else can't be wrong and that's something i learned right another thing i want to talk about is crashing out now we we use that word crashing out and to me what crashing out really means is like pardon me because I'm a little under the weather, but what, what crashing out really means to me is like mental health. And I'm just learning about mental health and things like that because, you know, maybe because, you know, as people like us, if, if you don't go through mental health, you don't understand how important and how, and how that's really a thing. You don't understand that how, how that's really a thing you know what i'm saying and i didn't understand it a whole lot until now i'm starting to see certain things and i'm around certain people and i'm looking at them in a certain way and it's it's showing me that mental health is a real thing um and i say all that to say to sean the funny thing is, we all care about Sean. You know what I'm saying? I think Sean is one of the best battle rappers to ever rap, period. I'm a fan of Sean. You know what I'm saying? I want to see Sean back. I want to, I want to, 
I can't wait for them to announce another Sean battle because I'm really a fan of Sean. I like watching Sean battle and I would never ever hate on that or front like I don't because then that'd be whack on my part. But it's it's too much tweeting going on and and lashing out and 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 making everybody the enemy. When I feel like Sean need to get back, bro, you need to get back to battle rapping, man. Like we miss you rapping. We want to see you rapping. We don't want to see all these other things. And and now don't 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 mistake this. If if this was ten years ago, I probably would have reacted in another way. But this ain't ten years ago, and I grew up and learned from things that I went through in life, like real stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I learned not to let things that are not true or somebody else's emotions get me out of character. This is like big stuff I learned. You know what I'm saying? And once I learned that, things in my life start going uphill. You feel what I'm saying? I start being able to do stuff like start a brand and create a sneaker and create a cologne and, and, and open a store. It's because I got the negativity out of my life. And I feel like there's a lot of negative going on with Sean. And he, he needs to find a way to get the negativity out of his life, period. And I'm just talking real. You, you don't got to respect it. You don't got to. But I'm just talking real. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to see nothing happen to Sean. Like, I don't, I don't got to be cool with him or we got to be the best of friends or none of that. But I don't want to see nothing bad happen to him. And it's sad to see him in a place where he's at. You know what I'm saying? I really just hope his mental health is right. And it's crazy that you sit here and you, when you get older, you're supposed to get smarter and wiser. So me getting older, I got wiser to look at things in a different way. You get what I'm saying? And I don't look at it right now as, um, oh, Sean is going, it, it's, it got beef with me. And I don't even look at it like that. Maybe he do, all right? I don't have no beef with him. So I look at it like, Dag, I, I watched him going from being on top of the game, killing him, watching him battle rap to where he at now, where he's not even battling. And he has a problem with everybody. I'm just hoping his mental health is good. I'm hoping if it ain't, he can get it back to where he need to be and understand everybody ain't the enemy. We we all ain't the enemy. We all just actually want to see you back and we want to see you back in the right place and um and battling and and and, and doing good and and you know what I'm saying? And I could have came on here and joked, laughed, and did all that. You know what I'm saying? But for, for this blog right here, that's not something I wanted to do. And I'm going to go back to talking about accountability again, once again, right? And I want to say this, because this, this is perfect for me to segue into this. I listened to Vodafly. Shout out to Vodafly. And, and I listened to, you know, I actually spoke to Easy the Block Captain. And I want to say this, right? I'm actually a person that could talk. We could get on the phone and talk and we don't got no real beef. Nobody does. We don't have no real beef at all, right? I've been in real beef before. We don't have no real beef, right? So, and and I learn from everything. And that's what we got. We all got to learn from everything. So if somebody say something, I could listen to five different people and I'm going to take a bit of knowledge from all five different people. Now, it don't mean that what everything they say is right. No, but you can take some some bit of knowledge from everybody you listen to, right? So Vodafla said something about the, the easy, me posting a joint, and I did a joint on easy, and I said easy confirmed it. And easy actually called me about this and we spoke, right? I'm going to take accountability because... Now looking at it, after listening to Vodafone, me talking to Easy, I, I was wrong for putting that title. What I should have put is Easy confirmed it to me because that's what I was saying in the in the blog. To me, it's confirmed. You know what I'm saying from 
from this and this and this. This is what confirmed it for me. So remember, I'm still new to the blogging thing. I'm still trying to figure stuff out. When it comes to titles, I suck. I got a lot better at my titles, though. Word. But when it comes to titles and all that, I, I, I'm getting better. So, and I never want to do nothing for no clickbait. I don't, never do I want to, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I try to always talk about what I'm talking about and put it in the title. Because that, that's what, you know, I'll call Uncle Ra. I'll call, uh, mostly I call Uncle Ra and I ask him, what, the, yo, what, what should I title this? Because I'm learning as I go about the titles. Right. So now now I'm learning those. So I know to go. So now me listening to Butterfly, me talking it easy. I can say, you know what? I was wrong for titling it that. Not for what I talked about, because I, what, I stand on whatever I talk about. That's how I feel. I'm giving you all my opinion. Now, that's what I want to hear from me. But the title, I could have titled it better. You know, what I'm saying I could have titled it. Easy confirmed it for me. And that's what the title should have been. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean by taking accountability and learning. Accountability. I'm saying right. And learning from everything. Everything you go through in life, from, from who you talk to to, to to whatever. I listened to Butterfly. He made a valid point. Me and Easy spoke. And Easy made a point. You know what I'm saying? So this is all me saying, mm, let me listen. You know what? You're right. I could have worded that better. It's me taking accountability. So shout out to Easy, shout out to Butterfly. You know what I'm saying? That that's what that is with that. But back to this though. Real talk, man. I I feel like we all want to see K Sean win. I feel like the place he's in right now, he's allowing himself or pushing himself out of the winning category. I feel like when you run around, you feel with hatred and you just mad. Nothing but negativity is going to happen to you. Nothing but negativity is going to happen to you. Another thing I remember is a long time ago, man, I was, just, I had a job, right? This when my daughter probably first was born, right? And stuff just kept happening, right? So stuff just kept happening. I'm at, I'm at my job, stuff just kept happening. I'm telling my man, Book, shout out to D-Book. And I'm like, yo, stuff just keep happening. Like, yo, like, like it's just bad. Everything can... And he said to me, yo, get that negativity out of you because when you think negative, negative stuff keeps happening. I, I remember this like it was yesterday. It's so crazy, man. This is why it's good to have another thing. It's good to have the right people around you. And I don't feel like he has the right people around him. And that's why he's in this place. But when he said that to me, I said, word. He said, you got to just think positive. Stay positive and stuff is going to start happening in a positive way. And I swear I did that. And I swear stuff start happening in a positive way. I swear stuff start happening in a positive way. When I did not remember this. And this is my daughter is 17 now. She's going to college next year. And this is when she was first born. So this is 17 years ago I'm talking about. Right. So as. As I got older, I start realizing this. I will always say, hey, man, yo, why this got to happen when this happened? Like, let's say I had a car. It'll break down, right? Let's say I just made $5,000, right? I made $5,000 from somewhere. Then my car break down right when I made the $5,000. I used to say, that as soon as I get some money, something happens. I used to say that. I used to get mad. So, like, as soon as I get some money, something happens. It, it always, like, they, they just to take my money. But that never was the case. What I start realizing is, no, that car Ben was going to break down. God just waited until you had some money to get it fixed. So it's the other way around. It's not that something happens every time I got money. It's no, when you got the money to get it done, that's when God allowed it to happen so you can, he knew I needed my car to get around and, and make money. So when I, when he knew I was getting some money, he let that car last all the way to, I was getting that money so I can have the money to get it fixed instead of the car breaking down and I'm messed up. And now 
three, four weeks going by or whatever, and I don't have a car, and now I'm, I got to figure out how to get around. I got to figure out how to get this money or whatever, whatever. He he waited until I had the money in my possession for the to let the car break down so now I can get it fixed right there and I can be on my way. And I want you all to really listen to this, really listen to what I'm saying, because this is really all stuff I learned, and this is real stuff. That's going back just to saying negativity keeps you angry. It keeps you down. It keeps you in a hole. It keeps you in this bad place. I'm always smiling because I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I, I got a store. I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed to have a brand that's doing good. I'm blessed to have a sneaker that I'm in a store now because somebody just came and bought some sneakers from me. I'm blessed to be able to do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed period i'm blessed to see 40 years old and this is this is real and i don't care if y'all like this or not what i'm saying y'all play i joke you know what i'm saying at times because i'm happy i want to joke with y'all i want to start snapping people today but this is real i think we all really want to see k shine win and the place he's at right now is not a good place and i'm hoping some kind of way he can come out of this place some kind of way he could go back to smiling and being happy because it's just anger and negativity at this point. And I'm going to say this, Sean, if, if, if you watch this, sit back and take accountability and, and, and look at yourself and say, wait, is it me? Am I bringing this stuff on me? Am, am I doing something? Because it can't be everybody else. Real talk. I say, Sean, man, go call URL. Be, you know what I'm saying? Talk that shit out like men and get back to battle rapping because we want to see you as fans. I'm still a fan no matter how you put it. Sean is in my top five. We want to see you as fans. T to prove a point does nothing. To prove your point, you're missing a whole bunch of money. You know what I'm saying? To take care of stuff you, you, you need to take care of. So you could get on the phone with URL. I don't know the situation, but ain't nothing that big. If they, nobody killed nobody, ain't nobody smashed your girl or nothing like that. Anything like that, that's bad. I understand you can hold a grudge, but it, if it's over some business, business can always be fixed. Fix the business. Get that money and get back to battling because we want to see you. But I hope you come out of this place that you're at because we don't like seeing you here. You know what I'm saying? And I hope everything is good. With, with your mind and i hope you get it right and come back to battle rap bro we want to see you battle i don't care if you hate me as a person that's cool you can hate me as a person i'm fine with that man a lot of people don't like me as a person but there's a lot of people that do you know what i'm saying because i'm a genuine person I'm, a, I'm i'm always give you the real so that's all i got to say about this situation no, if y'all was expecting me to come on here and wild out and do i'm sorry that's just not a place i'm in now i would I hate to have to get mad. So when somebody forced my hand for me to get upset, like I'm mad at that because now I have to do something. And and, and I'm I'm more upset at that I have to do something than me being mad at the actual person. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Um let's pick this up and move around. But yeah. One more thing before I get out of here though. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what's going on here. Let me relax. One more thing before I get out of here. For now on, my new name, seriously, is Goods the Big Nuke. All right? If you don't know why my name is that, maybe you'll figure it out later. But for now on, my name is Goods the Big Nuke. All right? Don't ask me why. You'll figure it out later nothingbutgoods.com if you put the promo code in big nuke that's b-i-g-n-u-k-e big nuke you get five percent off <laughs> i'm out of it